What is that guy hauling? Cocaine or bio weapons? He's got a ball of COVID. <laughs> <laughs> I just couldn't wait for somebody to invade the US. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. He shot him with rockets. With rockets. But then bullets were striking <laughs> the little bird. What a disaster. To the average person, you do barrel rolls in a only, helicopter. Only in combat when you're being shot at. Other than that, it's illegal. Welcome to Black Rifle Coffee's Veterans React. I'm Richard Ryan. Today, I'm joined by Butch and Josh, the founders of Cryptech. Aside from Cryptech, you guys have a little bit of a background together. You want to explain that? Well, <clears throat> Claycorn and I um, served together in the military. We flew Apache attack helicopters together. At that time, I was actually the commander. Claycorn was a junior warrant officer. And we end up flying 95% of our missions together because... Uh, you wanted me to save his ass a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you, you had something to do with it. it. <laughs> I can hear it. So anyway, that's... Uh, the rest of the story is when we weren't flying, we would daydream about being in the outdoor industry. And yeah. that's kind of how Cryptic came together and how it got formed. Well, sweet. I appreciate you guys coming out today. We're going to load up some of these clips here real quick. What the fuck is this? It's too late! No. I'm going to get the detonator. Well, how? I'll figure it out. Is that a Huey? Squirrel. Oh, it's a squirrel. Didn't Matt Best do this? What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what, on the little bird? Did he? Uh, yeah. Did he? he? He grabbed a hold of the skid. I don't know what's going on here. This guy's like airlifting cargo, and now there's about a pandemic and a breakout. Guy's making a bomb. It's Mission Impossible. Is it? Where's Ethan? He's gone after the detonator. Wait, where's the detonator? Superman. What's the S stand for? It's not an S. Or the Witcher. Toss a coin to your Witcher, old valley of plenty. <laughs> or the Witcher. <laughs> I don't know. This guy's aerosol cloth oh, for oh, sure. Nice. Oh, he fucked up. What would his ground speed be carrying a load like that? And would he be able to hang on like that? 60 knots. Yeah, you can. They actually will transport um, assaulters. It gets called fries and spies. I don't know what the acronym stands for exactly, but you'll have all these guys that are like tandemed underneath the aircraft. What is that guy hauling? Cocaine or bioweapons? He's got a ball of COVID. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a ball of masks. Just They're like... rushing the masks in. That looks like his own stunt. This guy was had some pretty big balls doing this. They probably had a cable on him and he like edited it out. Yeah, they, they cut it out or painted it out. And here uh -huh. comes the surprise. Hey, the <laughs> you guys <laughs> forgot me. Huh? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Indiscriminately oh, yeah, just start shooting. Yeah, it's always a good idea to shoot the pilot. So now he's got to learn how to fly. Just, what, you can fly a helicopter? Did you say helicopter? That's uh, Ethan. It's easy. He knows how. So how easy would it be to recover from that? If you're in flight. What do you mean by in flight? Just hovering or uh, auto-rotating uh, or you're forward speed? Or? You're screwed. Yeah? Yeah. Benji, do you copy? Ethan. Well, it looks like he recovered well. I'm in a helicopter going after Walker. Oh, hold on. How did you get in the helicopter? You see how <laughs> spotless the windows are, too? Look at that. Yeah. There's not never anything. That never happens. That's, There's bird shit, fingerprints, insects. Okay, power. This is power. 
Look at that. Oh, what a waste of mass. He's a jettison that. <laughs> yeah. I like your this payload. Where's his jettison button? Another little bird? No, the helicopter in front of him was way better. I couldn't tell what it was. It's an EC-135, or 145, one of them. I love that you guys are just like, that's what that is. I'm like, everything's a Huey or a little bird uh -huh. to me. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, he's gonna jettison. Uh, he's gonna Superman. jettison that load onto that other aircraft, huh? Now he's gonna pop it right through. Hold this for me, will you? Pickle. Mm. Oh yeah. Holy shit. Hello. <laughs> uh oh, he missed him. Damn it. Get up there! Now Superman's pissed off. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> your mom's a whore. Well, I just <laughs> I dumped all your masks in that lake. Oh. Here comes the crew served weapons. Oh, <laughs> wait, wait, time out! Time out! <laughs> Alright, let's talk about capabilities here. Is this realistic or is this some movie magic and some angles? That's realistic, but I'd rather be in the second one than the... Than that one? Than Tom's. Why is that? Twin engine, extra rotor blade. It's more sophisticated. Better performance. Mm -hmm. You got a $8 million helicopter versus, you know, a measly three or something. So this proximity flying and everything, is that? This is all real. I understand now why Hunley believed in you. The world needs the IMF. We need people like you. What the oh, fuck, a cobra? cobra? What the fuck is this? Yeah, we're just throwing all kinds of clips at you. I got to fly a Super Cobra with the second Mew in Afghanistan. Oh yeah? You did? Yep, and it was... Uh, did you get skydive to it? <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah. They're pieces of shit compared to Apaches. I can tell you that. I like how he just pulled so low that he said, screw it. I'm not going for the main, straight to reserve. But yeah. How's <laughs> That's right, you're a Scott Ave guy. Yeah. So you, you pick up on all that. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> how realistic is this? Could be done. <laughs> I've seen dudes do it before. Yeah! <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's awesome. That's a good move. Well, I guess that concludes the helicopter scene. <laughs> Yeah, baby. <laughs> Fucking simulator. Welcome to the future, lad. Enter the big black box and make ready for war. Oh, here we go. Some Apache so, guys. Uh, yeah. So this simulator. is this is requested by Josh. No, no, no. Not right. this part. No? <laughs> no. This was the worst Apache the movie <laughs> it is. ever. It's horrible. Boys, first program is called X-Ray. We're gonna start slow. All babies need to crawl before they walk. But it, it's, it's all it's all real in terms of the simulator. There was a three-axis mm. simulator, and you'd get in the cockpit just like that. You would go in and just do hours and hours of engagements. Looks like a quiet Sunday afternoon to me. That's a negative. We dialed in 9 a.m. Monday morning, and we're open for business. Basically, get all your switchology down. These were alpha models, right? So the is that an actual animation from that? Yeah, that is. That's that horrible. Is. <laughs> this is fake. That thing with the circle in the middle. That's real. Those are actually longbow stuff there, but we got CW5. Oh, no, look at that. Higgins blew it up the Yankee program. Scheduling calls for x ray, sir. I'm changing the schedule, Higgins. Yes, sir. So he's not flying with his HDU on, so he actually needs to rotate Which that. Which was illegal. Deal, uh, uh, that's up by his eye over, so that now it's a slave to the datum line of the aircraft, the center line of the aircraft, and that's how you engaged. So this is all fake here too, how they're actually flying is not yeah. correct. And he's doing these gun runs. That pilot's good. They butcher shooting those rockets, they wouldn't hit anything. <laughs> I am the greatest. Now he's doing, now we're doing I am the greatest. <laughs> I am the greatest. I am the greatest. 
I'm, I'm also the most humble guy in the room. I am the greatest! Uh, start to crank yourself, Azula. Well, now you're doing air to air. Those coming up. Muscles on them, smoke one fast move. Shoot them, blast them, nab them, grab them. This was an embarrassment, actually. Shake them, bake them, cook them, clean them. Yeah. <laughs> this movie. <laughs> The they whole failed. H64 Apache community despises this movie. Can't we at least be friends? Tell me how you really feel. Don't hold anything back. I don't want to set myself up for that again. He's still not flying with his HDU down. I know. Hi, right, Rudder Ops. This is Stinger. Roger out. That's actually, I mean, that's, there's some real stuff. Let's go to our corner and come out fight. Now he's putting his HDU on. So you want to explain that a little bit and what all like features and components or systems are incorporated in on that? Yeah, you have all your symbology depending on what your, you can action up. So you can have all your weapon symbology or your flight symbology. Jump ball, kids, let's see who comes down with it. You basically align that system to the datum line of the aircraft. After you bore sight it, that's what it's called. You bore sight, it's part of the startup procedure. Then basically anywhere you look, there's two IR sensors on that helmet and there's a, some IR energy that's cast and it, it knows where you're looking. Interesting. And so you can slave the gun and like look over here and engage off axis. You can also use it to do your weaponry, you know, rockets and missiles and stuff like that. I got locked. Shit, Brad, he's got a lock on us. which you never do a missile through that, but you, you can do rockets. <laughs> <laughs> Ever. <laughs> Ever. It's also not clear like that. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. more of a, it's more of a tinted version. Hang on here, Rice Man. Let's see if we can keep up with this. Where'd they go? Where is he, Breaker? I don't know. Those helmets back in the day were super expensive. Uh, don't you have one? I wouldn't know if I do or not. <laughs> Clever, Chief. <laughs> 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 About $18,000 helmet. Oh, wow. Who wants vertical? I'll give him vertical with a twist. Nose down, breaker. I got locked. No! Missiles gone. Should have been guns, not missiles. Shit. He's toast. There you go. Little bird. Yeah. Uh -oh. He's going vertical. Where'd he go? He's in the sun. Claycorn actually flew these two <laughs> in the 160. Yeah, so what's, what's going on here, Josh? Well, I don't know. We don't do air to air. Get ready to throw the dog a bone, Breaker. So the Apache will win. Why is that? Because the, the little bird's game. slow as hell. Because of its speed and agility, it is one of the most deadly things you will ever see in the sky. What's the difference in, in speed? Uh, we used to cruise in the Apache at 140? You could go, go up to much higher than that. But in the little bird, you cruise at 60, 80 max. Oh, I'm hit! It's more agile. Yeah, it is. Much more agile. I don't know about that heads-up display though in no. the Wilbur. Yeah, it? what would that be for? Well, no, at 160 there was pods? a yeah. At 160 there was a grease pencil on the the windscreen. Oops. Hey, isn't that the same guy that was in uh, the other show? Yeah. <laughs> Probably. You blew it. I'm gonna kill him now. Oh, there you go. He shot him with rockets. With rockets. But then bullets were striking <laughs> the little bird. What a disaster. And he got the bad guy. Did you kill him? Yeah. Yeah, I killed him. All right, so definitely recommended by Butch. I think you're lying. Yeah. Get you later. See if the wind to bleed your mouth. I like this. Later, bud. See you, Jed. Oh, fuck. <laughs> This should be mandatory for all American Because Bush males. grew up in Idaho. They had worked themselves up into a pretty good frenzy. In fifth grade, you should, be, you should be required to watch this. Why? For me, personally, um, I mean, I just couldn't wait for somebody to invade the U.S. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. <laughs> like, and when this killing started, it lasts for days, weeks, even months. <laughs> That's the whole thing. It's like, I, miss, I, I, I wish a motherfucker won. <laughs> That's also, right. Bush grew up in Idaho and Idaho's the most malicious state in the world. No. I mean, we like to be self-reliant, <laughs> yeah. right? And this is about self-reliance.
imagine that you're sitting in class and all of a sudden there's a bunch of no. paratroopers. Well now, my friend. Well now. And of course, you know, you're going to use schools and golf courses as your landing strips and of to course. take over to establish yeah. your foothold. I would say they were way off course. This is very unusual. Look at that there awesome camo. Yeah, that looks like right. Kuyu. All those guys are wearing Kuyu camo. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out the uh, crew served weapons and take care of uh, the school teacher. The ROE, you imagine what they briefed these guys up on when they came in. Yeah. The ROE is <laughs> shoot eraser. <laughs> shoot everyone. <laughs> Any boy that dates one of my daughters, I'm like, hey, have you watched Red Dawn? And they're like, no. Name I'm your like, favorite Patrick Swayze movie. <laughs> yeah. Go. That goes for the rest of you. I say, okay, well, you come back and the chair is against the wall. Right now, I got a few words for some of our brothers and sisters in the occupied zone. The chair is against the wall. The chair is against the wall. The chair is against the wall. John has a long mustache. John has a long mustache. John has a long mustache. And they're like looking at me like, what are you talking about? I said, you'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Wait, how old is your daughter? Uh, 28? Tw 21. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one is uh, one of the best scenes in the whole show. Yeah. This is where they're in the spider holes in the field, right? Mm-hmm. They took out a, was that a T-72? Yeah, I think that is a T-72. Bunch of high school kids. It's legit. Yeah. Must be busy. Let's go. Uh-oh. Forget her, just get her basket. Yeah, that's so smart. Perfect. <laughs> Dang it, give me your number. Oh, there you go. Nothing like a good baited ambush. I like how he took a brief beat to flick the knife. I out. like how he's wearing his beret. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. Look nice. at those spider holes. They're so good at aiming. I know. I was going to say, do you think anybody's worried about <laughs> muzzle awareness there? Probably not. This was where I became infatuated with camouflage. Really? I mean, their concealment is amazing, right? Yeah. Cryptek, the official camo <laughs> of guerrilla warfare. <laughs> <laughs> she slept well at night after that. Like, she has no post-traumatic stress disorder at all. She didn't see anything. <laughs> oh, a disco. <laughs> RPG. Don't even care about blast that back, back blast. <laughs> <laughs> He's running his 243 deer rifle and they're shooting dishkas. <laughs> Who doesn't love the grenade off the tin roof? Wolverines. Wolverines! Yeah, this was like every kid's dream to have, <laughs> have this happen. It's so funny to hear you say that. Like, oh, all these kids are just hoping for this dystopian post-apocalyptic scenario. I mean, it was like, <laughs> welcome to Idaho. <laughs> yes. Let's get it fast and get back to the rock. Come on. Put the old locator chip somewhere in there. Was there a locator chip in this? Yeah, that's how they find them. Isn't this in the 80s? Is that even technology back then? It was a, the creative thinking. That's how they yeah. had in to the catch In the Cheerio them. box. Yeah, I think that's how they found them. And here comes the Modern high. day just throws an air tag in the... <laughs> a tile? Yeah. <laughs> I just stole your SIM card. <laughs> quiet. You hear that? Quiet, quiet, quiet. Here comes the big gunship. These things are built with a titanium tub in the uh, around the, the crew. Oh yeah. Yeah. What the hip? No, it's a. I think it's a uh, hind that's coming on. Yeah. 
Holy shit! You think she survived that? That goose down it? Yeah. No. <laughs> that down jacket protected yeah. her completely. <laughs> I would not want to be in this gunfight on the receiving end. Why is that? I mean, clearly outgunned, but. A lot of armament there. Come on, let's go. The blades on that aircraft are actually made out of uh, steel also. I don't know what the span on them is significant. There was, they were laying all over in Kandahar at the airfield. There was all kinds of really? high and shit there. We brought back a ton of rocket pods as war trophies uh, that came off of Heinz. Interesting. They were, they were he might have one in his office, along with that Apache helmet. <laughs> <laughs> that's some sort of mock-up, though. I don't think these are real. No, Heinz. that's not. It's a little, little cardboardy. Uh, this is just like if you're always, if you're going to go out, you want to put your balaclava on. If you're gonna gunfight, do it from the hip. If you're gonna mm -hmm. go against two Heinz. What are we watching here? A Mexican uh, Day of the Dead <laughs> celebration? Yeah. Dia de los Muertos. Huh. Here comes the cavalry. It's MB-105, completely acrobatic helicopter. And it's got James Bond in it. How can it be bad? There's nothing like a good fist fight in yeah. a helicopter. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I'm with all these people and that's me. how Butch hovers. <laughs> <laughs> Get your back off the stick. So is this recoverable at this point? Oh yeah. It's too easy. It's cake again, walk. again, that's how Butch hovers, so it's completely recoverable. He's gonna get a fire extinguisher. Oh. Oh, the flare gun. Now. There you go. Here we go. Now he's gonna rip it up, huh? Mm. When you do do that roll and your checklist or whatever in the, air, in the aircraft just kind of comes up, floats up, and then comes back down, if you do it politely, you can get it to land back on the dash. To the average person, you do barrel rolls in a only, helicopter? Only in combat when you're being shot at. Mm -hmm. Other than that, it's illegal. You're right, sir. Not all helo airframes can do it, but a lot can. I got video of Butch doing that. And then he crashed shortly <laughs> afterward. <laughs> yeah, that was a nice recovery. Saved a lot of people right there. Off into the sunset. So tell everyone where they can find you guys, more about you on social media, what you guys got going on at Cryptech and all that fun stuff. What? What is that face for? I just laugh because I'm not on social media and I don't like social media. <laughs> <Okay>. so. <laughs> what about your LinkedIn or your, no. your bio on the Cryptech? Our company, it's fine. <laughs> Cryptech homepage, go to About Us and learn more about Josh. No. <laughs> Cryptic Outdoor Group is the Instagram page, and of course, cryptic.com uh, is our website. Awesome. Come see us. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Thank you. So, aside from Cryptic, uh, holy shit, how many tabs do you have open? Oh, we're, we got we got a lot of movies to watch. I'm gonna get so tired of staring at my ass. We still on this fucking movie? All right, all right. Well, skip it. Jeez, Josh. What, you got photos of him or videos of him yes, crashing? Absolutely. Do you want to watch Rainbow, Black Hawk Down, or uh, James Bond?